guys, oh my god, that's the Hollywood sign. So we're just sitting and chilling in Grand Central Market. Morning. Today is August the 11th, 2024. We are going on a very adventurous day trip to LA. I'm gonna go with my mom. I'm getting picked up first at this stop and then we're gonna head over to her stop and then pick her up. There's a lot planned for today. I think we're gonna go to, not in this particular order, but the Walt Disney Concert Hall, the Grand Central Market, the Hollywood Walk of Fame, the Chinese Theater, and also the Getty Museum too. So there's a lot in plate today. Yay, really excited. Hello, mommy. Hello. You yeah. excited for this trip? Mm -hmm. Yes. So first we're going to the Hollywood Walk of Fame and then the Chinese Theater. Have you been to the Hollywood Walk of Fame before, mom? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I have been there like maybe four months ago. Yeah, oh. I went there, yeah. Oh, okay. A lot of immigrants, when they come to America, they always go to the Hollywood to see like, oh, what's the hype, right? Uh -huh. What was your experience going to Hollywood when you first came to America? Uh, I feel very excited to see Hollywood because uh, I read the magazine, it's a very famous place. Uh, right now, I, I, I am there. Was it what you expected from when you looked at the magazine compared to when you actually saw it when you came to America? There was a lot more homeless people than you expected right uh, yes yeah and it's a lot more grungy than you thought right uh, yes okay let's go we are in the Hollywood district now seeing all the Hollywood signs and the name of Hollywood it just totally reminds me the song Party in the USA. I hopped off the plane of LAX with my dream and my cardigan. Welcome to the land of fame, makes sense. Whoa, am I gonna fit in? Ooh, I see the stars already. Wow, we're in Hollywood. It's like every musician's after dream is to make it in Hollywood, right? All these vendors on the street trying to sell you stuff. But look at all these stars. Ooh. Oh, and then, yeah, you just walk down. This is the TCL theater. Yeah, so the inside of it is actually an IMAX experience. And then the famous actors. Ooh, Eddie Murphy. Like they would autograph and sign here. In town, a lot of like tourists come here. Like everyone who comes to Hollywood for the first time, this is like such a tourist attraction place. It's a Mickey Mouse, knockoff Mickey. So a lot of times they'll let you take a photo, but then you have to pay them tips afterwards. So just be wary of that, you know. I feel like there are so many stars. There are probably, I think they said, there's like 2,780 something stars in this Hollywood district. So this is like the little shopping mall. It does look very fancy. Welcome to Hollywood. So this is just like a big shopping center to hang around, chill, lots of food, desserts, whatnot. Guys, oh my god, that's the Hollywood sign. This is such a beautiful view up here. Wow, you see it? That's the Hollywood sign. Oh my god. Let's see, do I know any of these actors? Ooh, wow, look. Robin Williams. Wow. Some people will actually like go on the floor and touch the stars, but it's kind of gross. I'm not going to do that. Oh my god, Spider Man. <laughs> that was scary. I don't want to touch his hands. Like. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, next stop, we're gonna head to the Walt Disney Concert Hall. We won't be able to go inside because I think most of the performances are usually at night, but me and Steven actually went to watch a performance a couple years ago. So it's a definitely a unique experience, but the exterior of Walt Disney Concert Hall is very eye-catching, you'll see. Nice architecture, but of course, you know, there's got to be homeless people just sleeping around, right? We made it into Walt Disney Concert Hall. They use stainless steel for this architecture. We're just taking a little break in this grassy area here. It has some patios, has some chairs, cooling down, drinking water because it's really hot. So the next stop, we'll be going to the Grand Central Market. I've been to that place before. It has a lot of food vendors and drinks and whatnot. They have food from all sorts of life, like Mexican, Japanese, Chinese, you name it. Okay, so we just finished walking from one side of the Grand Central to the other side right here. So we're just sitting and chilling in Grand Central Market. We only have like 45 minutes here and I just feel like there are so many people and there are lines. It's really hot. Like as you can tell, there's no AC. So it's just fans blowing. But I don't want to feel rushed to eat because we have to leave here in 45 minutes. So I'd rather just wait until we get into the Getty Museum and then sit down with AC and then just eat because we're spending like almost three to four hours there. Me and my mom are just chilling in this table away from the sun. We did make a loop around the Grand Central Market as you saw in the previous clip. So yeah, it's bumping. We made it to the Getty Center. So we're gonna be taking the tram to go to the main center. So this is where the tram is. The tram's gonna be coming on the left side right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know. I Oh. Yeah, the last time I went here that I could remember actually was with Steven, I think in 2021, been a couple of years. We made it! the Getty Center. So there's a north, south, east, west section in this museum. And then the center section is where the garden area is. I think they said there are tours running every hour. So at 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m. And then at 4 p.m. in the garden section, I think there's like a jazz band playing. So maybe we can catch them and listen to their music. We're just gonna get some food first because we're really hungry. We didn't eat lunch at the Grand Central Market. I just got a turkey and cheddar sandwich. Just a quick snack before we head back into the museum.
Wow, that view by the rails was so beautiful. Okay, this is the South Pavilion. The details are so minute. Okay, we went to the south and the west pavilion. Now we're gonna go to the east pavilion. Time to go to the north pavilion now. Heading back to the tram. People waiting for the tram. It's like gonna be 20 plus minutes. So we're just opting for the scenic route and we're just gonna walk. Mommy, what do you think about the trip? Today is so hard, but the trip is fun. Which was your favorite exhibit in the Getty Museum? The East. Yeah. East Pavilion? The uh, East Pavilion. Yeah, so today was really hot, but we did a lot of outdoor stuff. We went to a lot of places. I have to say, yeah, if it's your first time coming to LA slash the Hollywood area, those are definitely iconic places to go, and that's what LA is known for. Just be wary that there's a lot of people and it's also kind of like in the sketchier parts of LA so just be careful during the night time and of course you know watch out for homeless people.